Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today I'm going to be going over Blender 3.0 Alpha that was released yesterday. Uh, now there's been some videos on this before yesterday, but uh, I'm kind of late, but let's let's go. So uh, the reason why I'm going over Blender 3.0 is because it's come with a new render, well not really new, it's come with Cycles X, which is a new and improved Cycles. If you don't know what Cycles is, it's the ray tracing engine that Blender has been using for the past 10 or so years, it's not really important. But, um... Cycles X, uh, despite sounding like the name of a 90s um, future film, um, it's apparently really fast. Like, very fast. So, uh, here's how you get it. So, you're going to want to go to this link up here. I'll leave it in the description for easy access. Uh, once you do that, you'll be taking this. Uh, so, right here, this is Blender 3.0 Alpha, but don't click that. Um, that comes with regular cycles, the boring, old, no good cycles. Uh, what we're going to want to do is go down here to where it says alternatively download the official release Blender 2.7 or experimental branches. We're going to click experimental branches. And so here you have all these branches that if you know what any of this means, feel free to download it, but I don't. But we're going to go all the way down until we see Cycles X branch. So, clicking this, we'll start downloading the Cycles X branch. Now my internet for some reason downloading off of the Blender servers or whatever is extremely excruciatingly slow so I'm not gonna make you sit through the six minutes of me downloading it instead I'm gonna do a stock Vegas transition until we get to this download okay I'm back um so here's the file downloaded it's just a zip file you can open it with anything pretty much um, so there's going to be this folder inside of it. You're going to want to click on the folder and there's a bunch of other stuff inside of it. So you could either be a responsible human being and make a folder somewhere on your computer where you won't forget and extract it all there. Or you could just be like me and not care at all and just run Blender straight from this. Um, so it's going to do its all extracting thing and stuff. So while this is happening, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what I know about Cycles X. Um, uh, Cycles X is pretty much just a faster cycles, so uh, it renders faster, it does pretty much everything cycles does, but faster. Um, so we're going to test that, because I don't really know, um, but we're in this together, so uh, hopefully we'll be finding out as we go. So, uh, Blender 3.0, we got our new splash screen, this is, this is pretty cool. Um, so, uh, let's see, so we still have cycles, um, it still says cycles, I don't know if there's anything... Uh, different, uh, let me make sure, okay, that's good, okay, 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 cool, cool, so I guess that's, uh, I guess that's, that's that, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open a file, um, this is a pretty intensive file, um, it's got a lot of stuff in it, so you can see it's kind of slowing down my viewport even, uh, so we're gonna test this, um, we're gonna test and see, how this how this how this handles my World War II trench render. Um, so I'm pretty sure all this is gonna be saying updating image. Oh my god, they're curved again. Oh, that makes me happy. That um uh, so in Blender 2.79 and below, uh these little node things by default were curved and in Blender 2.8 they were made straight. Um, you can still change it to be curved in the uh, settings, but uh, they're, they're curved by default now. Um, that's going to be weird. That's going to be pretty, pretty weird, actually. Wow. Okay. 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 Okay, something's different. Something's different. Um, okay. Okay, so that, I think that's a little bit faster. My volume cube is all out of whack, though. What's going on here? That's weird. That's, that's really weird. Um, if anybody knows why my volume is not working, then... Please leave it in the comments because that would be pretty, pretty nice to understand. Let me open up a new project and see if it was just that project. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect this. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disconnect. 
And then volume, principal volume. I'm going to change this to like 0.5. Uh, make sure this is on cycles, GPU. Huh. That's really weird. But, yeah, I'm not sure why that's doing that. Um, but let's, let's, let's just set up a basic scene and see how, how it does. Uh, I'm going to keep this gray. That, this is new. This is new. Collection properties. I don't know what any of this means. Uh, I'm going to be honest, but, uh, there's a new tab. Uh, there's a new tab in Blender, guys. Uh, Blender finally got a new tab. Let's go. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to leave all that. Uh, we're on cycles. Oh my god. That's actually pretty fast. Okay, real quick, real quick. I'm going to open up Blender 2. Point whatever's the Steam version is. And I'm going to compare this really quick. Because I'm pretty sure that's faster, but I don't want to say that and then it not be actually faster. So we're going to go ahead and pretty much set up the exact same scene here. Um, cycles, GPU, uh, preferences, there we go. I feel like there is a difference. I feel like there is. Okay, let me do a render test real quick. So I'm just going to set up. Um, pretty much completely default settings. I'm going to go ahead and render this out. Uh, let's see how long it takes. Actually, I should probably, um, change this to 256 pixels. And then render it out. And we're going to see how long this takes. And then we're going to compare the times. So I do feel like Cycles X is faster, but we're going to see here. Okay, so that took 12 sec 12.98 seconds. Okay, now this. Okay, what angle did we have? Okay. So the light was like right here. Okay. And this is Blender 3.0. We're going to render this. Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me? Eh, excuse me. Something's definitely different there. I'm I <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's see what that just did. Let me let me try to break that down if you didn't catch that. So, um Blender 3.0, normally when you render on GPU and past Blender versions, you would go down here to performance and select um, you would select a pixel size for your render, and it would usually be 256 instead of 64, because 64 is CPU. But that doesn't exist anymore. Um, there's viewport pixel size, which I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, that's what that is. That is literally just pixels. Uh, makes it lower quality. Okay, so what I just noticed... Obviously, the biggest thing that was just there was when I clicked render, it didn't render each tile. It rendered one big... It, it just rendered the whole image. So, that's 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 really cool. Um, that is actually pretty cool. Let me see if I can open um, another Blender project somewhere. Um... Maybe somewhere. Hmm. Might be able to open this one. Alright, so let's open this. Uh, so this is a um, thing that I did a little bit ago. But I'm going to switch to rendered view. The volume's not going to work, though. That's the thing. It's going to be black. Um... So up here, I don't know uh, where it's like updating everything. I don't know if that's any faster. It doesn't seem like it. Um, but then again, this is just basically loading um, all your stuff into your graphics card, I'm pretty sure. 
don't correct me if I'm wrong on that because I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure this takes the same amount of time. Okay. So that immediately rendered a lot faster than if it didn't have that. Okay. This definitely does render a ton faster. Now the lights are extremely bright in this because I don't have my volume in here. So I'm going to change this to like 4 uh, just so it's a little bit less harsh on the eyes maybe. Maybe 1. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is... Cycles X is definitely fast. I wasn't expecting this. I was not expecting this pretty much at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just hit render on this. Uh, I'm not going to wait for the full render. Uh, I just want to see what it does. Um, so it's going to load all this stuff in, all my textures and stuff that I have for this scene. I just want to see, like, because we saw it render that cube, but then that was just a cube. And that took 9 seconds. I didn't compare the times. It was 9 versus 12 seconds. Um, Blender 2.93, it was 12 seconds. And then uh, Blender 3.0 was 9 seconds, 9.35 seconds, which is pretty good. Um, that's a 3-second improvement. Um, and, yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, that is... That's literally rendered. I mean, it's not all the way rendered. I mean, it's still sampling. But you could l sit here and render this on like 30 samples and then just throw on a denoise or something and have this scene rendered in like 30 seconds. Not even 30 seconds. Okay, so basically what I think it's doing... Because I don't really know how Blender like renders... Uh, technically, I just know it renders each tile with a sample count. What I think, what I'm pretty sure it's doing is it's just, instead of rendering the tiles, it's just rendering the one big image and then just doing whatever it does to the tiles, but to the, to that image. Okay, that's actually really cool. I really like that. That's going to bring a ton to Cycles. I don't think I've ever been this excited for an update in my life. I, I really don't. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find anything else that's new. I do know that the um, the, the thingies, uh, they're, um, they are curved. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could change that. Um, maybe in viewport. No. Uh, navigation. No. Interface. I don't think so. Menus. Yeah, I don't know. There was uh there is a setting in there somewhere where you can change the lines from like um curved to like straight, but I don't know where it is. But yeah, they're curved uh by default now, so that's that's pretty cool. Um so again we got this collection tab, which I'm not sure what it does. I'm gonna have to look some of that stuff up. Um line art, I'm pretty sure that would be for grease pencil. Uh I don't think anything really changed there. Render passes, they all look the same. Crypto mat and shader AOV. Filter and override. I don't know if these were here. Uh override was. Override is just material override for everything in the scene. Uh I don't crypto mat and shader AOV, they don't sound familiar. But I'm not sure. They could have very well been in 2.93, but I'm just not sure. So don't take my word on that. Um, but I don't feel like checking right now. But yeah, down here, um, this stuff, um, it's it's changed. Um, threads, um, if you're rendering on CPU, um, this is what you're going to want to do. Um, so what, what this is, is basically CPUs have threads um, and cores. So if you have a four core CPU, you're gonna have eight threads. If you have a six core CPU, you're probably gonna have twelve threads. Um, just if you want to get the most out of your render and the most out of your CPU, if you're running on CPU, just make sure this thread count is at the highest it can be. Um, that way, it uses all your CPU. Yeah, just a little quick, quick advice for that for watching.
almost 16 minutes into the video. Um, but yeah, this viewport, um, this pixel size, um, this might help if you're just trying to like preview it, maybe. I don't know, really. I don't really know what I would use this for. There's probably a ton of people out there that are like, oh, you don't use this for this and this. No, I don't, <laughs> okay? I don't. I barely, I, I can barely make art myself, okay? Um, I don't I don't know what pixel size does. Um, I'm going to wait for this for a second, and then I'm... Okay, yeah, I can see that being used for, does, does, does ADEX change the time it takes to, the time it takes to render out in my viewports? Because if that does, and that proves my theory that I was correct in previewing it. It does, it does a lot. Okay, so now while I wouldn't use ADEX because this just looks like a very bad Japanese porno, um, I can definitely see using 1x or 2x, uh, pixel size to just preview your render in your viewport. If, um, like, let's say, uh, you have a really big scene and rendering it out would be fine. Um, but you just, you don't want to wait an hour or two hours or a day for it to render. Um, and you just want to see how it is in your viewport real quick without rendering it out. I can definitely see this pixel size being used um, as 1x or 2x. Now, I might just be talking stupid, and this might have been in every Blender version since it came out. But uh, I just noticed this, so leave me alone. <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess that's it um, for Blender 3.0 and Cycles X. Um, I'm definitely very excited for this to come out. Um... Any other updates, I'll make sure to make a video and update you guys. Anything big that comes out in news. Um, but yeah. Um, let me know what you, uh, what you guys want to see. Let me know if you guys are excited for this update because I definitely am. Uh, but thanks guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.